Nakanood ka na ba ng YouTube video at napaisip ka na paano nga ba talaga nagsimula yung mga tech YouTubers na to? Can they make a living based on what they earn? May kita ba sila? Paano sila nagkakaroon ng mga products na rin-review nila? Do they get to keep those items? If you've ever wondered those things, lakad tayo, usap tayo. Hi, my name is CJ and my question is, can you really earn or like make a living solely from the YouTube channel? Mahirap mabuhay kung nakasalalay ka lang sa YouTube ad earnings. Sa YouTube, the one primary way of making money is through the ad revenue. So, gumagawa ka ng video, YouTube puts ads on that video, and may cut ka dun, either per click, so it's cost per click, or cost per impression. So, after 1,000 impressions, you get something, a very small amount. Yun yung problema dito sa atin. Uh, maliit lang yung cost per click, maliit lang yung cost per impression. For, for a channel of our size, mahirap mabuhay. <laughs> Ay, impossible actually mabuhay kung nakasalalay ka lang sa Google AdSense revenue. Pero, uh, there are so many other ways to monetize. Maaari ka magkaroon ng sponsorship, so that's why actually super important yung sponsor namin. And... Nabili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, halito! Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, Daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes. Finished! May legit working CD key ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Sarikhap! Hello Hardware Sugar! This is Katima Gaming, a big fan all the way from Thailand. So, you guys get a lot of items to review and test out sent by some of the biggest companies in the world. So my question is, do you get to keep the items sent to you? Thank you so much in advance for answering my question and looking forward to more awesome content from you guys. Sarikhap! Kung galing abroad, 100% of the time, usually, yes, we do get to keep it. Uh, a lot of different brands have contacted us from abroad kasi wala silang local representative dito. Pinapadala yun sa amin dito. And yes, we do get to keep those items. Parang understood na. Kasi hassle din para sa brand na. Paano rin namin mababalik yun kung, you know, pinadala dito sa Pinas and then how do we send it back to them? It's different if it's a brand with a local presence dito. Let's say may representative sila dito sa Pinas or may distributor talaga sila dito. In that case, sometimes we get to keep it, sometimes hindi. So, for example, Deepcool does have a local representative here. Yung karamihan ng items na pinapadala ni Deepcool sa amin, uh, we do get to keep. Actually, wala akong maisip na <laughs> basically all of the items that Deepcool has sent us, uh, we've, we've been allowed to keep. Yung Asus iba, paminsan we get to keep, pero paminsan uh, sobrang mahal yun, we have to return that. So, kung may local presence yung brand dito, depende talaga. Paminsan we get to keep. Paminsan, we have to give it back. How do you get in touch with brands? A lot of the brands are proactive actually. Tapos it's not even yung mga malaking brands na sobrang sikat. There are also a lot of smaller brands na very proactive. Basically, sila yung nagko-contact sa amin. Um, we very rarely contact a brand directly. Kasi, to be honest, di rin kami papansinin. <laughs> like yung mga sobrang big time. Kung nag-email kami sa kanila, di kami papansinin. But a lot of the brands do contact us directly. And I'd say 95% either of the sponsorships or of the reviewed items na pinapadala sa amin, yung brand yung nag-reach out. Grabe talaga yung social media ngayon. Pag lumampas ka na sa certain subscriber count or something, um, for us, it started around 20,000 subs, 30,000 subs. May mga brands talaga na lalapit na. You know, and usually, the process is a cold email. So, mag email sila na, hey, you know, I saw your YouTube channel, um, I really enjoy your content, etc. Yung the how you review and how you make it, you know, blah, 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 presentation-wise. So it's very rare na kami yung lumalapit, although we have tried that. Yung mga camera reviews namin, like Canon and Fuji, yun, kami lumapit sa brand. Um, but most of the time, it's the brand, they have agencies. Yung trabaho lang nila is, you know, to look at social media. Either the agency reaches out or the brand reaches out. Is being a YouTube celebrity all it's cracked up to be? 30k pa lang or 20k. May mga instances na na feel mo na, oh nga no, may nanonood pala ng videos. <laughs> Lahat kasi abstract eh. Like, you make a video, you see like, oh, 1,000 people watched, 5,000 people watched. You have 50,000 subscribers. I mean, th that's all abstract. Very early on dun sa YouTube channel, may nag-comment dun sa isang video namin na, 
O ikaw pala yung guy na naglalakad nung white na dog. And he's a real pain in the butt to walk. It does get a little weird when your neighbors start calling you hardware sugar, which has happened to me. Like, I'm on the street parking my car, tapos uh, the guy two, two, two doors down says, Oi, hardware sugar. And, you know, it, it's weird. Hardware sugar is not my name. <laughs> but, nakakatawa na medyo weird. You do get recognized uh, dahil sa channel. One time, uh, nagpalit ako ng battery. So, tumago sa Motolite, tumating yung guy, he changed my battery. And, you know, I was just being my usual self kasi matanong talaga ako. I'm very curious about all kinds of techs. So I was asking him about car batteries na I don't have a lot of experience with cars and their hardware. Uh, and he was very polite, very knowledgeable. And then at the end, nung napalitan na niya yung battery, sabi niya na, ah, sir, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm a fan of the channel, I watch you guys, etc. Completely random stranger, the Motolite guy, um, turns out to be uh, a subscriber to the channel. Uh, I find it fun to meet people who, who have seen our videos. You know, may impact pala yung videos. <laughs> may nanonood pala nito other than my parents. <laughs> Strange lang paminsan, like we're in public and my wife will say na, oh, that guy is looking at you weird. And you, you look and, oh yeah, that's a, probably a hardware sugar customer because it's a black hoodie and everything. <laughs> I have a question. How are you most scary is the grind? Burn out factor. So, very conscious na yung mga tao ngayon tungkol sa mental health and you do hear of a lot of creators na sobrang na burn out kasi, to be honest, <laughs> Grabe din talaga yung, it, it looks simple, you just, you know, record yourself, do a little editing, tas tapos may video ka na, but there's a lot of work behind the scenes. Like, itong video na to, pangalawang beses ko na to i-shoot, kasi nagkamali or may, may problema sa audio dun sa isang version. What's up, internet? So, usually kung may, usually kung may nakarinig na, oh, tech YouTuber, maraming tanong yun. And so, wala, everything was completely unusable. Uh, this is the second time I'm doing this. Yung Bibili Ka series namin, which will drop soon. It's been three, four months in the making. Tapos... Hoy! Kising! Kita, kita tulog ka, Gra Grabe din yun. Nakailang reshoots ako nun para lang sa intro. Kasi basag din yung audio. Or the video quality was not good. Um, so... There's a lot of work really that goes on behind the scenes and I'm thankful na hindi lang ako so we do have a team in place who also does their own videos who helps me with the editing who helps me with the thumbnails um, we do have a schedule to keep you know we have an x number of videos na kailangan ma-release in one month uh, when brands contact us for reviews kailangan malabas din yun in a timely manner so mahirap din. It, it it there's a lot of work talaga um, behind the scenes you know, just just keeping everything in motion, just keeping all of the balls in the air. So, yeah, burnout is real. The grind is real. Um, it's a lot of hard work. But I'm thankful and fortunate to have a good team behind me. Hey, I'm Rafael from Harbor Sugar. I'm Rocky Ismael. I'm JJ Reyes. I'm Warren May Bernabe. I di ko alam paano na yung ibang creators na magisa lang talaga sila. Yes, the grind is real, but the upshot is na I'm having a good time. And there are a lot of things about the process na hassle, but there are a lot of things also that are rewarding kasi I mean, diba, parang who doesn't like it na may, may early access ka to items you get to try out items that I could never afford on my own. So, masaya din. Name one surprising aspect of video production you stress over. Magsaslita ba akong ganito or like this? If you didn't notice the change, it's in the language that I'm using. Kung magtatagalog ba ako or magi english And that's something that not a lot of people, you know, probably consider. We, we used to have a YouTube consultant. Tapos sa stats nila, yung Philippine channels in general, yung karamihan na nanonood mga from the Philippines. So let's say 95% of all their traffic is from the Philippines. Medyo kakaiba yung hardware sugar na we have around 30% na foreign. So around 70% views from the Philippines, 30% from, from elsewhere. It's very uncommon for a Pinoy channel to have that large of a foreign viewership. Mas malaki yung kita kung yung cost per click or yung CPM, kagaya ng pinag-usapan natin dati, mas mataas sa ibang bansa. So if we have viewers from, let's say, the States or Japan, yun, malaki yung CPC or yung CPM dun. We believe na may mabibigay naman tayo. I mean, we're a tech YouTube channel based in the Philippines, pero there, there is some news, or there are some tips, or there are some approaches na tingin namin hindi pa naman nako cover ng ibang mga channels na abroad. So why can't we 
contribute something new. Especially kasi uh, malapit tayo dun sa sites of manufacture, eh. yung sa China, sa Taiwan, sobrang lapit natin. So actually, logistically, we should be able to get those items before anyone else. Um, so every video, inisit namin may appeal ba to not just for a local audience and for a but also for a foreign audience and then yun we try to we try to match the language kasi kung foreign di damihan namin yung english used in the video kung there are some videos na purely local lang siguro yung appeal let's like, say for example tutorial how to build your computer and dami ng ganun na tutorial sa online pero naka english better kung naka localize yun for the filipino audience so we'll use all tagalog for that the jokes or whatever stuff we put there would be more targeted to a local audience. Yung nga, hindi siya concerned for a lot of creators, but um, because of our audience, um, it, it has become a concern. Kasi nagagalit din yung mga Pinoy <laughs> kapag uh, maraming English sa video. Kasi, you know, there are maraming comments na, oh, eh, Filipino ka naman, ba di ka nagtatagalog? Uh, nosebleed? <laughs> Alam mo naman, just a short Q&A on maybe some questions na inisip mo tungkol sa being a tech YouTuber or trying to run the shop, parang incidental lang tong YouTube. But if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and maybe we'll do another video. Yeah, just basically walking around, um, answering questions. So, thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tong upuan na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.